Today, we have a first look at a remarkable new isolator family that has the world's highest common mode transient immunity. Here's a typical application circuit. A floating supply powers the isolator. As the high side MOSFET turns on, the floating voltage increases with the voltage on the load. This creates a rapidly changing potential between the isolator outputs and inputs. This can cause parasitic currents through stray capacitance proportional to DVDT. Isolators are designed to cancel these common mode currents, but the cancellation is not perfect, which is why we have CMTI specifications. Fortunately, our isolators are extremely well matched and therefore quite tolerant of common mode transients. Let's go into the lab to see. We're testing an IL611 CMTI-1E, which is a two-channel MSOP isolator. In addition to best-in-class CMTI, it's the world's smallest isolator. The test setup generates 10 transients per second. Trace 1 is the isolator channel 1 output. Trace 2 is the common mode voltage. M1 is the oscilloscope calculated rate of change, or DVDT and traces 3 and 4 are isolator outputs with 10 nanosecond deglitch. This potentiometer increases the transient amplitude. No glitches. We switch the input from high to low. and we can go up to about 328 gigavolts per second or volts per nanosecond before we see a 10 nanosecond glitch. So this part is close to the specification limits. Here's a more typical part. There's a small glitch on the raw output around 280 gigavolts per second, but nothing on the deglitched outputs at 378 gigavolts per second, which is the most this setup can produce. That's giga impressive. So the lab results are in. IL600 CMTI isolators offer extraordinary transient immunity. Click email or call us for more information or to order ultra high CMTI isolators. Oh. Oh.